This is Short and Sweet, a series of video interviews by Tracy Metz and Sonne van der Beek from the Design Salone in Milan 2015. We're here in Ventura Lambrate talking to Label Breeds, which is founded by Toon Spilma and Stein Rodnat. Toon, could you tell us first what is Label Breed? Yeah, Label Breed is a, a new company. We founded it uh, last year. And what we do is we connect factories with specific innovative technologies with the designers. And the unique thing is that we do it from the very first moment. So we, we bring them together. We don't tell the designer to design a chair or design a table. We just let them get acquainted with the, uh, with the technology. And with that technology as a limiting factor, really, in the design, uh, the products are developed. And, yeah, that's what you see here. We, have, uh, we started five projects in uh, February last year. And uh, about one year later, we, uh, we present uh, four to five projects with products that are almost ready for production. Within two months, we are expecting most of these products into the shops. And did you choose the designers in the industries yourself? How did you choose the partners in these projects? Yeah, we did. We believe that there is the companies, the factories, or the technology companies that are still in the Netherlands, uh, they must have something unique because they were not being pushed out of the market by maybe Chinese manufacturers or other ways. So they, they must be, have something innovative. We, uh, we looked into about a, sh a long list of 25 of those companies. Uh, we visited all of them. We, then we selected five of these companies which we believed had a technology that was unique in a way, that they were leaders in their field, but that was also a challenge for a designer. Some technologies are less suitable for this, this, these particular products than others. So we selected those five companies, and at the same time we found uh, five uh, designers, also very talented people who are inspired by technology, by material, and use that in their designs. And we made, Stein and myself, we made the connections, we find, found the right couples there, and uh, let them go to work. Really. Label Breed as a matchmaker. Pretty much, that's how, it's, that's how it starts, but then only, that's only the beginning, because then the, the, the design process starts, and we also play a big part there, because it's two really different worlds, uh, a factory versus a designer, and I think the background of both Stein and myself, we have very different backgrounds, but that may, means that we both understand really, on the one side, what happens inside a factory and why things are done a certain way. You have a technical background, I understand. Yeah, actually, I'm an aerospace engineer, and, uh, which is also, of course, has something to do with design, but in a completely different way than this, uh, this type of design. And Stein is um, from a design academy uh, and an own design agency having a background in design. Uh -huh. So that is a really good match to have these processes, these collaborations go run smooth. Yeah. Stein, with your creative background, you invited Christine Meindertsma to work with the material she's worked with for quite a while now, uh, flax. What did she do with flax? Yeah, I think uh, Christine is one of, uh, of our designers and she did a really interesting uh, project. She did it together with, with Incaf and uh, that's a company what, what yeah, makes from natural fibers like uh, uh, things you never normally see, like things in the back of the car, in the, in the doors and, and also for mattresses. And with them, we started to think to, you know, they have a, a lot of knowledge uh, about this technology, or how to treat natural fibers to get like to new results, only they never really make a finished product. And uh, that was really beautiful. They must have been amazed when you came to them. Yeah, they, yeah in the beginning, it, that's always a little bit strange. In the beginning, they, they had to to get connected first. Eh? The first they don't really know what to expect and how, what, what does a designer want, eh? the, you know, but why their technology, what's so interesting yeah. about it. Normally it disappears in the mattress or it goes in, in the back of the car where you never will see it again. And uh, so, so the, yeah, in the beginning they don't know what to expect, but then... So if what, did, you, what did Christine want from them? Uh, she is really interested in, uh, she, of course, she has a lot of knowledge about uh, this, this uh, flux uh, material, and, uh, and, but she wants to really make it in an industrial product. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and she wanted to make a, a chair with this. Yeah, and, and, uh, and that, that's a really difficult pros uh, process because uh, also, of course, there are already product, uh, products on the market uh, from, uh, with flux, like, uh, like instead of uh, like, uh, glass fiber, only there's always uh, an epoxy resin to make it hard. Mm -hmm. and that's so that means a chemical uh, component? A chemical uh, component, and, and that's really something she didn't want, actually. Mm -hmm. She wants to really have a pure 
product. And uh, that's why we, we actually developed this material with, with Incaf, and uh, it's, it's made of the uh, flux short fibers, mm -hmm. um, and it's mixed with, uh, with a PLA. And uh, PLA, that's, uh, that's a 100% uh, yeah, uh, uh, bio-based uh, plastic, uh, melting plastic. So uh, melting plastic, so when it goes into the oven, it hardens out? Exactly. If you pressure it, you put it on the pressure and you heat it at it around like 100, uh, 180 degrees, it becomes hard. The, the plastic melts and, and goes into the flask mm -hmm. and it makes it, bends it really to one, one yeah, steady product. Like from, from this soft material you go to a hard, mater oh, oh. hard <laughs> material and, uh, and it's 100% bio-waste. So, uh -huh. and, and that's actually... Did, did she make all the parts of the chair of the same material? Yeah. Yeah. All of it, and uh, the front is a, is a woven material with PLA, and 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 the back that's that's from the, the short fibers, and the, that's the piece. And and together we have like eight layers of this material. And it is sort of like a mattress after all. Yeah, but then I pressure it into a product. <laughs> <laughs> and is this uh, chair already on the market? It's not yet on the market. We did, uh, what, what's standing here, what you see on the side, that, that's a prototype. But, but we are quite far in the whole process. So we know what to expect from the materials and we're already thinking about the production mall. So if we, we're coming back from Milan, the idea is that we, we're going to manufacture the production malls so we can have it in production after, well, uh, after like two or three months. Okay. Yeah. So Ton, when will the first label Braids products be on the market for us to buy? Well, we have five products, There's the, and they're all uh, in different stages. This one is, uh, takes another two, three months, like, uh, like Stein says. But also there's uh, Marlene Kaptein who works with the NLR, the Dutch Aerospace uh, uh, Research Institute. And that is pretty much a product which is more or less ready, and it doesn't, uh, won't have to take so long for, uh, to go to the market. So there is, there, but all of the products that we have produced, all, fi all uh, four or five projects, uh, will be around this summer. It could be in the shops. Thank you both, yeah, Stijn Roodnat and Toon Spilma of Label Breeds for Short and Sweet.